Yep, yep, yep. Lighting iko poor. Volume iko sawa. Hi guys man. When uh, when you join in kindly say where you're from and uh, I'll big up uh, big up yourself. I'll give you a shout out. Tuseme tujue mko wapi na una join kutoka wapi. Kazi yanze. Ka mko site, sema mko site na unaingia kutoka wapi, una join from where? E, na na kaiku Chris anasema kabisa ako ndani. E, Vodogo anasema ako ndani. E, Heizi, <laughs> msamu yes. <laughs> Wanyama Junior me join. E, Mbele me join from Car West. E, Ricky Wahinya me, amesema ana join from Doha Qatar. And then uh, tuko na Washira and join from Embu. Humphrey and join from Dubai. Mashimwana <laughs> <laughs> Mashmara na jingu toka wapi maze eh? Ma, eh? Maandari eh? Eh? <laughs> What on the way is Eric Omondi Eric, Eric can come, Eric can come So before, before uh, hey, Ruth uh, Mokoe and someone joined from Nyandarwa And then we have Carol from Dubai All the way and then we have George from Dagoretti And then we have Tracy Michelle From Washington DC Then we have Kerry J from Mount, Mountain View Nairobi And then Wanyama Junior from Nyeri Yes, tell your friends to tell your friends to join Mazenda to, to handle it to we want your opinion. Easy discussion here to pick it, but we want your opinion because it's very important that we stand with each other, we help each other. And then Ale and Toka from Kisumu, Winnie Sambili, Winnie Simbili from Doha, eh hey, Kabisa. And then Wanja from Utawala, and then Eric Kasina live from Parklands, and then OJ from Blantyre. Eh, hey, Blantyre uko up Malawi or something. Dennis Mwendo eh uh -huh. and then Mondi from uh, Ngong Tracy Michelle amesema from 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 Washington DC So guys nataka your opinion about this and uh, before we start I want us to say a word of prayer so that at the end of the day the whole thing should be like I said will be guided by the Holy Spirit I want us to face everything the way in a come hakuna kuhepo hapa we must defend the word of god we must stand together with the word of god let us pray father jehovah we come before you to thank you and to honor you we bless you for for a good day we bless you even for a good night my father as you're about to start this session jehovah jireh jehovah shama jehovah donai we just uh, put your name before everything lord god let us be guided by your wisdom my father and everything that we do and everything that we're going to say my father let us start from a, a point of wisdom and anyone who's watching my father let them be enriched my father by your word let us transform lives my father with this life we bless you and you honor you for in jesus name we pray and believe as you say amen so guys let's do this so before we start i've seen so many questions guys uh, I've been sending in and most of the guys were, were most of the guys had different ideas uh, different comments towards whatever was being said. Eric Omondi came out guns blazing. I hope you guys can hear me correctly. Kama naweza nisikia poa nataka kila mtu atume pale aseme ananisikia poa gota gota useme unanisikia poa. So Eric Omondi came out blazing guns blazing eh uh, kuongea about gospel music gospel industry as a whole. And to be very honest, all I can say, like what I shared, kwa ile, 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 ile nilifanya ka, ka clip nilifanya, nilisema, at the end of the day, I'm not here to, to make any excuses, or to fight whatever I said. Or, cause you see, at the end of the day, inamanisha, kuna ka ukweli maali. Na hiyo ukweli, nitu tunaka tu, tu kagueleo, na kama kuna uongo pia tunaka tu kagueleo, But at the same at the same time it can be just a foundation to start something new. So so basically that's not the all, only thing that we're going to tackle. Pia kuna watu wako on the other side you guys who are watching mkona pia your opinion na pia your view about the gospel industry and what is happening in the gospel industry. So I want us to discuss because to be very honest kuna part ya Eric whatever he said that I totally totally agree. Now na Eric Omondi ako hapa manze Tumuingize ndani haraka upesi nini? Eh Eriko Cheto ni kama Eriko unajua Eriko unajua ni old school bana hizi vitu badala pengine ajui kuingia man. Eriko, eh naje huko hapo bro. 
uko wapi sio mikoni ba ndio mimi na kuona mimi weka video tu bas here we are mm. <laughs> bro <laughs> we, bro we, we, una, unakuja hapa na eh eh mambo mambo imechemka mambo imechemka bro eh mambo imechemka bro so basically bro nilikwenda kujua exactly eh mm. why 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 did you come up with that that story i'm aware did you come up how did you come up with this <laughs> so what happened is uh, bro we, we we go way back yes when i was uh, when i was the chiuchia person at the daystar university <laughs> So I only felt like uh uh wewe uh wewe Jimmy Gate Matsimasika no wacha hata Gloria Mulilo na na Kambua kwanza I felt like that but Owen you are Kambua na Mia by the you you nakwambia tu kweli you know I have a soft spot for Kambua and whatever you said about ulimtaja nikafeel uchungu because honestly Kambua felt you have sunk your heart sunk eh when they say my you felt your heart sunk ah man my heart sunk bana why so that that Owen uh Jimmy Gate na uh, na Masi Masika I feel like you guys have the responsibility yes. uh, uh to carry the industry because your your honor mulipewa na God kumekuwa na very many players including mtu kama Rafton huyo ni huyo ni wanaitwa ngaji huyo ni founder huyo ni wale watu wanaitwa pioneer hiyo ndio wale kwa natafuta mtu kama Henry Mtuku Yes. Henry Mutuku on the pioneers. Yes. But after unachiki watu kama kama mzee Ojua alikuwa pioneer. Yes. Kwa comedy. Yes. Mama Kaya alikuwa yes. pioneer kwa comedy. Uh, yes. Uh, ridiculous walikuwa some sort of pioneers but Churchill mm-hmm. mimi na feel Churchill ana responsibility ya ya kuensure that the comedy industry inaendelea. So I feel like whatever is happening in the gospel industry na feel uh, nili feel in my heart. Mm-hmm that that only you Jimmy Gates and Masi Masika can sort that mess you kuna kuna hii new generation bro na mimi naweza sema wewe hizi sema hii new generation of gospel artists uh sijui mm-hmm. kama ni ministers but nyimo ndio ku balance mlio ku balance ministry na industry yes hello you know you know the superstar that you know the superstar that you know the superstar that you know the celebrity but that you know the minister of the gospel Amen. So, so nili feel kwa, kwa hati yangu that lazima lazima ni call out you know feel God ali God ali kwa hati yangu mimi kwa naweza God uh, problem iko wapi solution iko wapi mm-hmm. akaniamba problem ni that you and Jimmy Gate na Masimasika na solution ni that you and Jimmy Gate na Masimasika na gospel industry ama ministry whatever you call it haitaenda mahali tutaenda tu in circles moji shot baba ni boy wangu Mr Sid ni boy wangu Willy Paul ni boy wangu but bila direction na dadi Owen wewe si leo kiamua umewacha na umewacha itaisha bro mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get? i get you clearly mm-hmm. so 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 watu watu wako nielewa mimi siko attack dadi Owen mimi siko attack masimasika siko attack Jimmy Gate uh, kama kuna watu nilia attack na vijana wadogo ni maboy wangu dadi Owen na wana choma bro you know bro no mwingine itakuwa even will say eh, the part of Jimmy Gate ni kama mm-hmm. ulitaki kitu very sensitive you understand you uh, cause watu wengi wali feel eh, unajua that part by the that side of Jimmy Gate watu wengi wako wanajua but when you only mention what are going to oh so this is what happens you understand because everyone knows Jimmy and advertise for jobs and that's it but when you only yeka bro wewe unajua <laughs> bro Jimmy Gate nilikuwa personal ju bro wewe umetoa ngoma sasa hii yes si umetoa ngoma last week Yeah, last week. last week, yeah. Masimasika ametoa ngoma. Yes. Una get? Yes. The last time Jimmy Gate ametoa ngoma ni 2 years ago. Sasa so, so Jimmy Gate as a as 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 as, 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 as a minister and as a gospel artist, as a leading 
uh, pioneer ama whatever ni alitoka akatoka 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 akaacha akaacha huduma we at least naweza naweza uliza naweza sema that you manyamaza lakini bro umetoa ngoma so mm. hata watu wananiambia uja post ngoma dadi wewe hey, post ngoma dadi wewe but ujimget na nilimpigia simu bro ni boy wangu akasema uh, mm. yeye ataniongelesha tazdi lakini kamwambia akaniambia kwa nini mimi umeni umeni umeinsinuate ni kama ni kama anafanya biashara legitimate jumi mimi na feel na feel jimmy geta me ametuacha wewe wewe hujatuacha bro umetunyamazi ulitunyamazia au kutuacha <laughs> intentionally uli, uli wewe unakujua ulitunyamazia ukasema uh, utunyamazia kidogo jimmy geta kunyamaza jimmy geta alituacha bro alitutoka mm-hmm. una get but how do you explain eh? Unajua mm. kama sasa hivi kwamba kweli eh? unajua kuna vitu mbovu sana zimechange kwa industry Eric na nimeona mm. from from comments that was there mm. nili venye nilitoa hiyo recording jana nikasema there's some people who are going through stuff and of course the first comment was what they said Rosmoana amepitia mingi na bana anatoa muziki so usikuje na hiyo excuse hapa nikasema sawa <laughs> nikasema ni sawa but you know people, people handle things differently bro yes yeah. Bro uh I, I know this is a sensitive topic yeah yeah uh, uh, but I want to talk to my sister Kambua mm-hmm. and I believe that I've seen her captions they are full of scripture mm-hmm. but I want to I want to believe that uh, we God God gives us situations bro mimi me lose mtoto hii mzee last month so unajua yeah unajua yeah, unajua I'm but, sorry but, for that man sorry yes but, but, but kuna calling yangu kuna gifting yangu yenye nitaendelea ama nitatumia hiyo situation ku, ku, ku encourage mtu ya yeah? me i personally feel like like uh, i pray for her she's my friend and uh, we talked like three years ago uh, i feel like it's her time to come back and tell her story and use her story to encourage other women and other uh, uh, followers of christ yeah Yeah. and uh, that would be my that would be my, that would be my hope uh, before god that uh, by now god i come and pray strength na ametoa my testimony anatoa do una do una do process ya kuandika kitu ka ngoma yeah mm-hmm. uh, na hapo ndio penye wa tanzania wanatuchapia mtu mtu akiachwa na demo azia anatoa hit damu ndo anakuja hapo na kutolea hit of course yeah? of course so in, in a consideration so so saki i don't i don't know nili, nili watch video yako na nikasema I'll trade carefully you we, we, uli, uli sema, some of the people Eric mentioned I felt my heart sank because people are going through stuff so nika realize your stuff you mean so stuck it point sensitive <laughs> but I would I would uh, I would request her to just come back but ma, shidangu kubwa ni wewe Jimmy Gate na Masimasika you so, uh, that you mean I feel si only dan code yako Okay. Una get? Okay. Si oni era. Si ju era alienda api ju yako bro. Una get? Okay. Ju wewe ni chachilwa. Wewe ni chachilwa gospel. Ju ukicheki kiriro, kiriro. Bro, mm-hmm. si oni dani gift ju yako. Dani okay. gift simoni. Eh ni boy wangu alifungwa church hata nimeenda church yake malindi ya. But simoni na na feel simoni ju yako. Uh, Siski siski eh, mikosike yuko lakini simski but yuko kwa ministry au madem ebu, ebu tumeshona au madem that you when you kwa saluti kuna huyu mlue anaitwa eh, nanji carol nanji and nanji. then the first verse inanzanga na kambua kambua eh eh so home home inafuatwa na eh after that na ni Emikos Gay na Jackie Kotira eh Kotira eh alafu kuna Nanji yule mluya ananga anaimbanga pale mwisho sawa au madem what is jua lienda na spiritually and ni kama ni kama ule wacha kabla wa machue twende kwa Jimmy Gay nani nani analiza DK kwenye beat of course Jimmy ni Jimmy Gay Jimmy ndio mtu mtodizi mpaka chuchu. Na kumuona na chuchu. Eh, hey, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> na kuna ude malikuwa kwa ude malikuwa kwa appointment. 
Yes, yes, yes. Alikuwa anataka kukopoa. Sijui anaitwa nani. Alikuwa. Eh nimesahau jina lake, nimekongana sasa jina lake. Alikuwa anafanya tu ma vocals. Ude nilimjua the first time kwa video ya Jimmy Gate nikakutana naye akanitolea testimony mmoja naoma sana hapo KCC. Yes. Una get? Una get? So so uh mimi 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 nilianza hiyo video yangu video yangu ilianza na nilianza na ilianza where is that you when? Yes. Ni kwa hiyo video I was meant to talk about that you when masimasika and Jimmy Gate. I think nika get ni kama holy spirit ama ni emotions ama ni asira nikajipata sasa nimeanza kutoka na watu but mimi nikiwasha camera nilikuwa nataka kunatakuwa kuambia watu mm-hmm. the gospel industry or ministry imelala mm-hmm. na haitamka mpaka yoe na jibigate waamke na waonge mm-hmm. waamke na na warudi so hiyo hiyo mm-hmm. video ya kwa left turn we are still nimepanga hivyo But you know it is quite expected to be left hand because let me just be very honest yeah there are some mm-hmm. few artists even me when i watched before even they came out someone like Willie Paul Willie Paul mm-hmm. after before uh, at okay mm-hmm. all of us know Willie Paul now this doesn't do gospel music you understand we are not here to judge or to call out or to say anything but we know that and even mm-hmm. himself he declared you understand so mm-hmm. i was me but some nilio nomeka akina wili paul hapo nikashanga but this one is 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 it's a bit complicated because mm-hmm. it's not about for us to decide who does and who doesn't even mm-hmm. before he came out and me nili feel kwa hati yangu and i felt in my spirit and by the time ali come out nikasema ah i think ana mimi kwa and i'm not the only one i think so many of even our fans of kwashajua someone like wili paul why when you mentioned wili paul it was so obvious that wili paul now this doesn't do gospel music so mm-hmm. i, I I would I would want to know your understanding towards that and why did you mention them na kwa nini uweka hapo ndani kwa hiyo bracket because it's so obvious it's not like at something that sema atujui do will paul will paul ana ana niambianga na hata jana aliposta akasema I will speak very soon I will say why I left gospel uh, industry or ministry akasema I left gospel industry I did not leave God. Well, no, no statement yake. Anasema yeye na God wako sawa. Okay. Lakini yeye na gospel na ministry yako sawa. Yeye na yeye na sio ministry. Yeye na ministry yako sawa lakini yeye na God wako sawa. Na get. Eh. Wacha nikwambie kwa nini dadio kwa nini Willipola alitoka. Yes. Juu yako, juu ya Kevin Mulee, juu ya Jimmy Gate na Masimasika. Let me explain bro. Sasa hizi tuko na new tuko na new generation mm-hmm. of uh, gospel artists moji shot baba mm-hmm. uh, guardian angel mm-hmm. bro ukiangalia ingoma yako ya wacha ni ku explainie wacha ni ku explainie who that you and is and the role of that you and in the gospel industry or ministry yes. and why why it cannot work until the three of you guys come ni 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 sio pania ni ni pillars ni kwa ni kwa natafuta Nindo pillars bro hii ndio maana nimekalia sasa hii niko mali tent bro kuna vitu zikitolewa hapa chini mazi hii nyumba itaporomoka nini pillars yes acha ni kuelewa tangu mujisha tu baba akuje kwa gospel industry ajazam toto hata mmoja guardian angel ajazam toto hata mmoja hakuna they are not replicating they are not they are not growing the 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 kingdom in terms of bringing up new gospel artists bro watch all your videos twende pole pole tuanze na hii video mko na the late kabarere mnaongea story ya ya bibi sasa miaka saba i don't know i don't know if i understand i don't know hiyo bro uko na wasanii umeget ah Ingo mako ya afungi macho. Mungu baba ye afungi yes. macho. Bwana yes. siko anajua, siko anajua ni nani. Yes. Ah. Yes. So be. Ngoma za yes. zote. Wewe uki ni kama Churchill bro. Churchill? Yes. Churchill ukiona Churchill na Eric Mondo na Fredo Mondo chipukizi ticha wanjiko. That's why Churchill hajatoka hajatoka kwa comedy bro. Yuko tu. Yes. Yuko tu. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, Juu mtu kama mimi Miss Jaza Jaza ni comedian. Unataka get? You mean me me Jaza na uko hapo unasema hapo Jaza? Eh? Bro, 
that's what I'm saying. Calling yako na church it's higher. Mimi nikawa mujishi wa baba. Mimi nikama garden angel. Bro, all your videos have where na Jimmy Gate. All your videos have new artists who then went and became uh bigger artists. Wakashinda mpaka magroove. Una get? Na the moment the, the moment muli toka, jua hujatoka. The moment uli nyamaza, vitu zikaanza kuanguka. The moment wewe acha niongezeke mule. Wewe wewe groove Jimmy Gate na Minute Massive Massive. Na hiyo ni kitu goda meka for hapo yangu. Before nifanye video ni mpaka. So my point yangu na whoever is watching this. Point yangu is that gospel uh, industry or ministry. Mm-hmm. Imedai bro. Aiko. Aiko. Mm-hmm. And the only way aiko jueni. Na the only way it will be back ni if you, you guys come back. Na kuna hiyo prayer ni leo na prayer ni leo hapo. Niliona. Eh hiyo prayer niko nasema niko naambia god uh, our generals mm-hmm. your general our our ni majeneral wako na because our, our ni gatekeepers you were like attacked left first mm-hmm. center we were under attack of the enemy sasa soldiers soldiers ni sasa akina Rudy Paul akina ba okay sasa wako wounded wako wounded bro uh, you ni good analogy that's a very good analogy eh huh? so uh, bro kuna kuna we, kuna vitu wewe sema kuna vitu pastor wewe sema kuna vitu bishop wewe sema wamenipigia simu wote that one simu yangu ya for two days nimepigwa na bishops na pastors baka from okay. kuna vitu eh, kuna vitu wewe sema mm-hmm. lakini mimi niko na position kusema bro thank you guys left there's a lot mm-hmm. of immorality mm-hmm. there's, there's the amount of immorality in the gospel industry is more than the amount of immorality in the secular industry hiyo ndio something that was not there kwa ndaka zatu nyingine hiyo ndio part yangu kwa ndaka tuingie because to be very honest hiyo ndio part wewe unakwambia kweli hiyo ndio part everyone is waiting for and na wana wasema wasema na comment nataka wase in the next like 5 minutes i want you guys to send in the questions that you want us to tackle and mko very direct because hii kitu ni kusaidiana na ni kujengana so nataka mtume ma question very direct questions sawa eriko nataka tackle hiyo part twende kazi hiyo part hiyo part ukisema immorality sijui what ukasema someone should dare you to own unajua <laughs> na katuandu hiyo part sasa mm-hmm. nyinyi kama gatekeepers mlitoka mkaacha nyumba mkaacha vijana wadogo mm-hmm. bro wewe i'm sure uko social media umeona yes. umeona scandal after scandal za za Willie Paul hata leo tu kulikuwa na Willipol and Offer. Willipol sawa, tutoke hapo lisema alisema yuko gospel. Tuende kwa Mr. C. DK kwenye beat. Hizi ni vitu wewe ukubaliwi, wewe ni wewe ni archbishop. Ukubaliwi ku rebuke uh, publicly maybe I don't know. Niko hapa. Niko hapa. Kuna kuna Mr. C. Kuna kuna chairman wa gospel ana mtu anajita chairman wa gospel bro ana anaitwa poko kuna uh, dk kwenye beat kuna uh, hope kid kuna masterpiece bro unajua masterpiece kuna video yeah, masterpiece, masterpiece. ilikuwa ilikuwa kwa mtandao last week buda dem ame bend over masterpiece anamshika kwa rasa akimspunk bro ana hiyo video iko ndakupi kama uko ana atakutumia Yes ya. TSO TSO ya one month ago ilikuwa na king kaka akimba akimba secular na microphone ya TSO na made yeah. on a screen. Kume kuna scandal ya DK kwenye beat na hope kid walilala na demo mmoja wa campaign city na iko iko on air imepostiwa bro but bro hiyo story ya yeah, DK kwenye beat na mizi na nani ni ya well but hiyo si story ya kitambo hata kama ni ku repent or me repent or me i'm not yeah. here to defend it i'm not here to you understand to make any excuses eh? but i'm just i'm just looking at it and i'm like what is grace cuz when you when you know what what name do you say hapa Eriko alikuwa chairman wa CU <laughs> Geisa University. Kama si chama na alikuwa vice chair. Na kumbuka Eric alikuwa ananinvite events. Na ndio MC. So before we 
kama vice chair it means you know the bible very well na eriko kama unajua bible very well there's something called grace atujakata mimi najua hiyo dk inaijua by the way sorry but they go everywhere in the public platforms iko everywhere ya dk tunaijua ya ilikuwa dk na nani na hope kid hiyo tunaijua but now the question is since that time kwa someone like dk you want to tell me tangu your time paka wa leo hey repent na kuna grace cuz if you read the bible you know you know the bible kuna grace kuna kitu kama grace by the the grace is sufficient for all of us because all of us we fall short of the glory na kama sio mm. tuna falling hiyo short so unakusema dk tangu your time paka wa leo hey bro hiyo si mimi muda sana na hiyo ni yawe but dk but the only person who recall na nikamwa apologize ni dk after hiyo nilikuwa your house the house of the lord is full of uh, uh, immoral fornicators even homosexuals even thieves even wash wash who are ministers bro who are, are gospel musicians me i know unajua watu wanalipa hapa chini sikia watu wanalipa hapa chini wanasema receipt receipt toa receipt the question is can you at this level honestly declare whatever you are saying now or prove that i'm not just because you know you are kitu ya kwanza by the way hata mimi nikitoa statement yangu jana everyone was saying ah hii ni ngoma wao wanataka kutoa hii ni cloud chasing but people who know me very well my fans wanajua poa sana i've never responded to anyone mimi hata kuna kuna wakati nilitrend kama 3 months about my soul me i never responded to anyone or anything but this one i had to but kuna wale mafans wana feel ni kama hii ni cloud ya kitu fulani so you being you as Eric Omondi mm. can you tell us exactly what you are saying it's true and you have proof to it because to be very honest many you know many believer ile believer mbaya and bible inasema nga we must be ready as believers to defend the word of god so many kwa hapa could defend the word of god si kwa hapa because of cloud chasing ama anything else so unataka utuambie is it una, is it claims uko nazo is it true ama ni, ni ilikuwa ni spice up ya ile video hapana ah, The truth is uh, that people are using the gospel to to further their own selfish interest. And sasa hizi kuna nyinyi new breed. There's needs new breed of gospel artists. Wana ko flash wana kataka diamond. Wako na na watu wanaendesha Mercedes ya white. Nilikolea na yao unasema unajua what are you to me mafumbo bro? Hatuna time. Unajua in the in the next few minutes unaweza kuniambia hapa oh bro naenda you understand? Tunaka wewe unajua they always say the 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 need is in the pudding the 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 need the the the, 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 the test is in the pudding so iko wapi bro tafuta mashmwana mm-hmm. tafuta nini eh mtu wewe anaitwaje unyo ndo ni mli wazaa mtu wa DK anaitwaje mtu wa DK mgani mtu wewe alikuwa na bana DK wa Kiomiani masterpiece Uh-huh. look for them wapeleke chai waulize hizi vinakwambia they are being influenced they are being used in the wrong way wanasau njia ya Mungu masmwana na kwa hapa masmwana kwa hapa naweza mu invite kwa hapa na muona anasoma swali zetu mu invite mu invite invite mpaka mpaka masterpiece mimi masmwana masmwana tu request tu request masmwana ni ku invite hapa sasa hii mimi nimeletewa information nikaambiwa masterpiece amekwa na mama masterpiece anakatiwa na wanaume masterpiece ainafaache uh, uh, gospel masterpiece una get so we must help these children we must bro bro are this claims true because unajua mimi unanijua vizuri sana mimi sijai kwa cloud chaser mimi sijai kwa mtu wa kuongea vitu nyenye si si za ukweli bro and you know my reputation by in the society so i wouldn't yeah. come here tuanze kuongea live juu ya here say yenye tunajua kwa ukweli hata wewe unajua kwa ukweli it doesn't exist na inaweza kuwa ni here say hawa say kuna siku wilipola alikuja 
akasema akasema watu wanafunguliwa boot alifanya video mbili na mimi nawajua ulipo na kwa matoka gospel hiyo time hiyo ni tuya za gospel na juzi akarudia ah ulipo na gospel kitabu bro ama ama ni mimi ndo sikumbuke <laughs> so point yangu bro naona naona kama swali hapa eh because you know those are serious things eh <laughs> but but bro this these allegations and serious claims have some truth with them and unless we address uh, this this problem 360 to say me tuongelele everything shida iko wapi tunaweza tatua wapi tunaweza solve vaje eh, shida kwanza that you and na Jimmy Gate na Masimasika must come back to the industry na ndio masikita na kufanya mimi mimi to be honest i'm not here to make any uh, any excuses i take the blame i know my place when it comes to ministry to the work of god i know my place and mm-hmm. to be honest i can even if you go back to the word of god in the book of genesis uh, adam na eve eve alikula the fruit because the biggest issue was adam alikometoka kwa his place of authority hey. understand so they be taking it wrong in it in a tonga the adamic mistake that's why they always say the sin will come through one man and i say mangi through the woman is manga through one man so ina maanisha anga the man alitoka from his position of authority that was given by god and that's why sin came to the world so whatever you are saying i know maybe unaweza kwa hata ujui watu zingine zina wewe una wewe unabonga tu but zingine ziko very spiritual i know some of us to remove from our place of authority that you were given and you were placed there by God. So by the time Eve anakula matunda na sin inaingia by the time Eve anaenda ku have conversation na na nyoka it means nilikuwa nishasonga. You understand? So Adam alikuwa ametoka because awasemangi tena alikuwa na have conversation ulikuwa wapi? Awasemangi Adam alikuwa wapi? Na maanisha alikuwa ametoka tu from his position. So that's exactly for me I'm not come here to make any excuses. I know what you're saying. You understand but I, 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 I wanted just to address the other issues because they are very sensitive and everyone is so concerned about those issues because at the end of the day pia tukisema tunajenga nyumba na tunajenga nyumba ina collapse already you know it's really hard the soldiers unasema if you are sending the soldiers and the soldiers wanapiga huko nje na tujui then it's really hard so some of your claims were very sensitive na yeye ndo kila mtu anataka kujua na everyone is asking what about Eric Mondi Eric Mondi has a has points and some that you own Eric Mondi has points only that he doesn't want to mention names of which he shouldn't you can quote that you and stop protecting your this your people and sugar coating for them so now Lisa kuna mtu watu wanasema uh whether i should mention or not but bro uh what did you say uh your time your time ya 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 emoji that you own uh jim gates matimasika kuna vitu unge sikia kuna vitu unge sikia and hata tuge what na conversation yes yes eh you know see the cataya hata kuna kwa hata hizo allegations unge sikia the worst allegation unge sikia ni ni mtu amenyanganywa groove hiyo sasa ni mbaya kabisa. Hiyo 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 ni mbaya kabisa. Hiyo ni kwanga mbaya hiyo tai. Na hiyo ya trend. Baka baka ulipola na kwa ngoma inaitwa degree. Eh ile kwa mbaya. But but what is here? Bro, but what is here? The fact that right now Eric Mundi is alleging that gospel artists are con men Eric Mundi is alleging that gospel uh, artists are homosexuals mm-hmm. Eric Mundi is alleging that gospel artists are, are having sex with women three times a day then at a kufikio point in it, i can open my mouth and accuse and allege in a manisha to me fall to me fall so deep yeah yeah mm-hmm. and the, you know issue young isn't it, these are words on the street and these are words that have been spoken let me just before i don't know you know 
right now we're talking about matters of god unaelewa and when it comes to matters of god to see mix na vitu zinaka kama cloud chasing and all that these are very serious issues and i know very well yeah, biblically of course guys were sent to be warned about Sodom and Gomorrah guys were sent about Elijah was sent you understand to warn the people about Baal and all that so it means those things were happening you understand yeah. so we can't deny the fact that you are addressing issues that are happening so we can't spiritualize everything but yeah. at, the, at the same time we need to understand that we need to be led by the spirit because we're talking matters god here yes. we're not talking about industry per se but we're talking matters god so all these allegations you know they're very very sensitive eriko now yes. moving forward you know nikitu where the rub from the isha and the angel we know that you know when the internet no. never forgets so isha and the angel no. so see make claims thing see that i'm defending anyone i'm not here to defend anyone but i'm just saying be very careful and be very you understand because it's important so so una cheki kwa hiyo clip yangu mhm eh uh, what was the call pastor angu alini call my bishop alini call and one thing was clear eh uh, eh kila mtu alikuwa anasema one thing all the people walikuwa anasema bit more but all of them walikuwa anasema one thing walikuwa anasema eric nimeochi clip yako and i want to let you know as a man of god if you thought you were you were the one who was talking it was not you was talking and some even went ahead to explain to me how god can use someone as a vessel mm-hmm. to just pass across uh, uh, his message you know story ya donkey that be a balam you so 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 the message it was it was put in my heart bro in my spirit hata mimi nikiwatch you clip yangu after nime post ni ndio nikasema wa nikasema dadio nikasema who is you mimi you mean i sure mimi ni record siko na leo but when nilipoka so nikaenda kuji watch ndio dakika ile sio sio mimi una get point yangu na na get point yangu na 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 i want i want to let you know that where there is smoke there must be fire there must always be fire and hii kitu na mimi nimekuja ku report kwa kama general kukwambia kama camp yako kuna fununu na kuna word on the street na hiyo hadi imekuwa ikienda hivi for one and a half years mm-hmm. that your people uh as uh have gone kuna paka watu wana scam watu ma, ma nini majubro nilipigiwa kuna ma, kuna majina sisi mtu hapa juni sensitive but watu wana scam watu na, the reason mimi na, nasikia naongea hivi do mm-hmm. people get scam watu mm-hmm. kuna we, watu wana hiba hiyo ni sawa shida yangu ni people are getting scammed by gospel artists because gospel artists can uh, uh, people are vulnerable around people, uh, people uh, men of god and gospel artists so mtu wako mtu wako california that's where my mission mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. so mtu aliko mm-hmm. kutoka california nilimuliza wewe naye unaibiwa aje i can explain here sio mi peke yangu and most of these people when wanaibia watu they are hiding behind the gospel So the people that are stealing from are vulnerable. Mimi nikisikia nikisikia sauti ya Nigeria ananiambia I have land. Haiwezi nikona. But nikiona pastor akikuja ananiambia hallelujah. I have this property and na namuona nga namuona nga kwa TV na muona nga kwa kwa nini? I'll be vulnerable. And that's why that's why nilira nika jam. You miss na shida na watu ku backslide, sina shida na watu ku au kutoka gospel sina shida na watu kuto preach shida yangu ni wakienda step further kutumia kutumia hiyo status yao kama ministers to dupe to con and even to lure uh, girls bro una get una get so that's why uh-huh. jam. that's why uh-huh. <laughs> next uh-huh. nilikuwa kwa nini nilikuwa na shout nilikuwa na shout uh-huh. to miss na shida wewe rington wewe fanya vile unataka but usianze nikaanza nikaanza kupata information mnafanya vitu mkitumia ministry sasa tajam sasa ndaanza kujam na bro mimi mimi nimekuja mimi nimekuja kwako kukupatia information juu wanaanga sometimes kwa nyumba father akikapata watu wao wanaza wanalamba skari mwingine anafanya nini but father atajua father atajua so mimi nimekuja kukuambia what's happening in your backyard bro na wewe mwenyewe hiyo kitu ni deep bro hiyo kitu ya adamic unasema adamic what 
is the adamic mistake the adamic mistake so yes. when adam alitoka yes eh uh, ivaka lakini sasa when god when when god alirudi na when si tuliamka sisi si ublem adam because it was his responsibility alitoka kwa place bro ukienda ukienda kwako bro what are what are to me example bro bro kuna time kuna time kuna time tuko tunaenda groove tunapata umeshinda groove saba tunasema yeah. next year umeshinda sita yes nane umezbeba zote yes ukienda kwako sasa hizo 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 metallic hizo hizo metals mm-hmm. they are very symbolic itakuonyesha wewe ni adam wewe ni adam they are very symbolic best collab the dion best song the dion best video the dion best new artist ni mtoto wa dadion una get so uko na hiyo place ya adam that's why that's why hapo nilikuwa naongea story yako ya mama sikuwa najielewa but sasa umejielewa nikale that's what i meant nilikuwa na nilikuwa na maanisha nimeless ameshishi na mama after after wewe sio eh ah bif just before me just before so you you know to adam that, that that's what i meant nilikuwa sikuwa na i didn't know how to put it across that's why you video ngwe na za kisema where is that you and sme where is jimmy get i'm always willy pond willy pond me deal na huko na 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 dk huko mwisho wa video but point yangu ilikuwa iki tu can only get worse bro can only get get worse na tuta blame rafton according to according to where is the solution coming from because sie tunataka unajua watu wengi wananiuliza ah oh watu wamenuza sana wananiambia why is it unataka kusikia nini from Eric Mondi you know sana but me i was like at the end of the day i like facing the truth i, I like addressing truth cuz unajua hiyo ndio kitu moja pia church inaogopa sana church inaogopa kwa criticize church inaogopa kuambia ukweli church cuz sometimes as much as we are in the church we can't be in our own cocoon believing that all of us tuko hapo tuko right na tujui chini inaendelea kuingia na na wana kondo so from you from my perspective before ni ingiza spiritual aspect from you from my perspective where is the solution because peer at least kuja criticize you say bila kupeana solution i have the solution and hivi uh, mimi kama mwenye god alitumia ku 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 blow this whistle nilifia God ali ali put in my heart. You mean for Lisa Lisa God. What's uh, na na dadi na nani? Big Ted ali no Lisa ali ni call Jana kan Lisa. Uh what's the end game? What's the agenda? What's the solution? So me 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 when I when I got am kwa hati yangu. The solution lies in kwa Adam. Adam lazima rudi kwa place yake. That's one of kwambia atujakuwa na new baths tangu mmoja ajaza mtu so meaning the, the fact that we don't have children kama 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 mjaza tribe yako ama watoto wake ama community ni tadai so akina akina guardian cannot give birth una get so my solution is that adam must come back and take his rightful place lazima wewe urudi kai kwa hiyo kiti u take charge alafu wewe uendele na ministry yako na juu ni, ni calling na gifting yako wewe una hiyo gifting ya church ya kuzaa watu sasa hizi hatuna gospel artist juu wewe uzai so so solution ni urudi ukae kwa hiyo kiti uvurute radio uvurute jimmy gate uvurute masimasika yeah and my my suggestion would be and mimi naza panga hii mkini mkini allow me bless mseme panga ama wewe naza panga My suggestion is this. We organize a kesha on a Friday. Ike sania watu ku ku, ku repent, watu ku, ku pray, watu ku fellowship. Repent, ku pray na ku fellowship. So hapo pale hapo repent tutakwambia Mungu yeye anyewe tumechoma. Tumechoma. Waombe God za kuombe mimi nitoka kwa kiti yangu. Ah uh, pale ya ku ku fellowship chatu onge how do we take back how do we take back kenya you say zi mazee eh hata nikifight 75% i see work your identity ya kenya and music ni gospel yeah so kwa fellowship tu onge how do we take back kenya as a group una get so kwa kwa kesha saki kila mtu what one na kama hii kesha tuchague hata kani kcc mimi ongeza kcc hata kani church hata katupenda huko kwa 
uh, NPC, whichever church we can go to, the leader, whichever church. He kesha ikuwe na Daddy Owen. He kesha ikuwe na Jimmy Gates. He kesha ikuwe na Esther Wahomi. He kesha ikuwe na Jemima Tiong. He kesha ikuwe na, uh, na Rafto. Mm -hmm. He kesha ikuwe na uh, Gloria Muliro. Mm -hmm. Kuwe na Kambua. Mm -hmm. He kesha ikuwe na... He kesha... Mm -hmm. Kesha siyo hope kid bro. Akitaka kuje. Mm -hmm. Akitaka kikamu. Yopo tunenda kwa presence. Kwa tuzi kwa tuzi stop nitu. Mm -hmm. Hii kesha ni ya, ni ya Adam. Ma Adam. Hii mm -hmm. kesha. Mm -hmm. Tukisa omba kwa event. Tuka fellowship. Mm -hmm. Nataka bro tupanyi concert. Mm -hmm. Hii kuna. Hii mtuko yuko? Hii mtuko yuko? Nataka tufanya concert iko na emoji. Mulifanya juzi. Mulifanya juzi niliko hapo. Mulifanya hapo. What a front. What a front. What a front. I think you what a front. Mili kwa natasapo kwa rei. Paka watu wakaenda wate tukabaki wa mne. Kama audience. Mande mbo ili nyesha. Ili nyesha. Lena. Lena mbosi. Yes, yes. Ikeche kwenye lena wajoksi. Yes. Ikeche kwenye na ni kwenye wachana dani gift. Wachana dani gift. Danko. Papa tela kuwe. Danko. Ikeche kwenye na ni na olewili. Olewili. Ikwenye olewili. Yes. Ikeche kwenye na ni ame nikole leo. Mr. Gooks ame nikole leo koka. Ah, Mr. Gooks bana. Eh, hey, una get. So kwa ikesha, ikesha ni yako bro. Ikesha ni yako. Mimi mimi mantle god ananiambia ni yako. I, I, ikesha ni yako. I, 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 I mantle ni yako. Hiyo wewe utabeba hiyo torch. So kwa ikesha tuombe to, to repent. I love to organize hiyo Sunday. The Sunday after the ikesha. Is it is Peter at the following month or following week? Hiyo Sunday twende nyayo. Mimi ni shangele sha nani? Shangele sha big tech. Mhm. Mikena nasema first lady ya ta sponsor. First lady ni, unajua, ni na president yotu ni pastor. Yes. So, so, hii concert, nataka kuwana, eni mtuwa kisema, sifu wana moyo wangu, sichoke. Ele. Ha? 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 Hii yeah. <laughs> kesha kama ri, kama Rito anatakuja, jistaki akuje. I mean hii hii nini? Ile ngoma yake ya kwanza ilikuwa na ile ya Limba kwa Mombasa. Nani Rito? Eh ilikuwa ngoma gani? Wachana na Kalanta. Sasa watu wote watu wote waipenda. Hii oh. nini? Hii <laughs> concert nataka kusikia shilingi ya Kenya, nataka kusikia uh, Madeni na kuambia mimi sina si madeni na 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 mimi sitaki bahati, bahati atakuja tu akaten raise. Willie Paul akaten raise. Hope Kid akaten mimi uh, DK akaten raise. Wakuja wa perform. Nataka tujukumbushe tulitoka tuli wapi? Tukaanguka wapi? That one will help us to get the picture. Okay. Okay. Natakuona emoji hapo, natakuona BMM hapo. Mm -hmm. Eh. Natakuona Henry Mtuko hapo, natakuona Rafton hapo. So the main part of the concert ni, ni nini? Itatukumbusha, itatupatia reminence, itatudisha, itatuku, itatu, God atatumia hiyo kutukumbusha sisi ni akina nani. And then after hapo, yes. mi kazi yangu imeisha. Mi hiyo ndo solution yangu. After hapo, mi ndarudi kwa comedy. Okay. So, ni, ni idea noma sana. Ni idea brilliant sana. Ni idea noma sana. But unajua iliko kumbuke at the end of the day eh yeah, kuna wase <laughs> kuna wase say by the siku baya kuarudisha hapo by then process because as you speak right now Gloria I think I may relocate uh, you know still may relocate you understand is it 
Stevens ne? Watakam. Watakam bro. Ni Stevens ne? Watakam. Ndege. Eh dadio ndege tu mimi niko naongeza. Niko naongeza hii idea hata nimeshiana nani? Na nani amesema tai support Big Ten. Bro. Mhm. Kuna Kenya wes kuna direct. Bro ni ni we are, we are seeking restoration and revival. Okay. So naje we are seeking restoration and revival. Na hata hata Yesu alikuwa anatoka Galilee anaenda siju wapi? Juu alikuwa ameitu. Sasa so okay, among the comments among the comments zile zilikuwa very controversial. Number one, Someone said why is there commonly commenting about homosexuality and yeye yeah, anavaanga mangoza wanawake na anajipata lipstick kama mwanamke and is the first one to comment about homosexuality. Hiyo ni one of the most sensitive questions niliona. Dajibu First of all I am not uh, I'm not a homosexual shindwe kabisa mm-hmm. and it will never happen I am a very I'm a very straight person and uh, second of all uh iki tu ya ama comedian mm-hmm. ukiona all comedians both local and international mm-hmm. ukiona the biggest comedians in the world Kevin Hart mm-hmm. ukiona uh, Eric Omondi Flaco Chris Kena Terence Crete Uh, there's something that we have in common we play characters mm-hmm. we play characters and this is the ini kitu iko martin lawrence much big mama mm-hmm. uh, of course so so isn't it isn't the characters to macheza to appeal to maybe our female fans to pass across a certain the message mimi leo nikitaka kuwa kama lechoruto si need ku hire i am an actor i am an entertainer i am a comedian Mm-hmm. and comedians we are allowed mm-hmm. we are that you know where you give them goes a madam itakuwa mbaya but for akwa kwa sawa so so bokoli mwaliniambia nga kuna time bokoli kwa niambia nga the work of a comedian is to push the envelope sisi tuko na freedom wewe na bia na mwezi bia na zifa garden ndio tutamshuka bia wewe na bia na bia Sita si bien. Nimekuwa nikichapa the wrong person. Sita ni wewe. Eh, ora kwa Diana na mimi na shida. Sasa nataka ku apologize ya Bien na Calligraph. Ni say I'm sorry. Forgive me. I've been attacking the wrong person because the identity of Kenyan music is gospel. You know identity yetu. Yes. Identity of Tanzanian music is bongo. Identity yes. of Kenya. That's why I'm Kenya is a Christian nation with yes. 80% Christians. Yes. So, yes. mimi nimekuwa nikichapa bien maze kumbe na chapa the wrong person. Kumbe wewe ndio mleta shida zote. No. <laughs> mimi by the way kusema kweli eh, mimi sahi niko and I'm willing. And I nisema jana by the way, I'm not here to make any excuses. Mimi siko hapa kuongea about yo tunafanya nini nani. It's an open conversation and I like pia watu wanatuma wana question zao na pia wana wana comment. Watu wanasema tulete pasta tea hapa, wengine wanasema tulete burale hapa. But for me today I was just like let's deal with this issue first with Eric because Eric yeah. is the one who came out. So as the momentum inaanza ku build up of course now next we have kina pasta tea. Tutaleta kina akina burale tusikie pia cause you are At the end of the day eh lazima tungeanza at the tip tujue nini endelea kwanza before tuifungue tujue nini endelea kwa kwanza so i like your ideas i like the way you make come out gun blazing and all that with your claims and everything because sometimes we need to be criticized we need to be to be cancelled we need to be rebuked you understand know, we need to be rebuked. because even me pale niko hapa siwezi kudanganya nisha ikuwa rebuked mara mob sana i've gone to churches tukianza mimi si nikafukuzwa because nimevaa jeans because nimesag there is a pastor who even made a sermon how am a devil worship and all those things you understand but you see at the end of the day you must come out as a christian to prove all these claims they are wrong because even jesus christ himself alikuwa labeled as belzebub so for us for us where we stand me kama mimi as a christian I must come out and claim because in the book of 1 Peter 3:15 I think it always says as a Christian lazima ukuwe ready to defend the word of God you must be ready so guys were was saying mbona ndakujibu Eric mbona ndakudiscuss hizo na Eric nikasema no for so long 
guys have been running away from the truth and for so long even you meet preachers and pastors they are afraid even to go to interviews to face the truth and address issues that everyone is talking about so sometimes it's good to go there and address even Christ alikuwa na address what to kwa temple hakuwa na run away ana address ana address paka pharisees anaambia eh eh mimi mnasema hivi mimi nasema hivi because at the end of the day if it's the truth stand with it and prove to everyone that this is the truth and stand with it so to anyone who was asking why are you why are you addressing this issue with eric omoni for me i believe i met eric i'm eric i'm a touch what is so important to me because for me i'm a believer and i love god to that level and i was like kama me touch kama ni biblia tufungua tafungua because me najuanga biblia pia mi verse na kimbia wa kichwa hapa na pale na siati nazikram for the for the sake of cramming but for the essence of teaching and teaching others so today it was just an open conversation like what more about you what i will go to open conversation that anyone can participate na me says kudanganya eric whatever you said you came out there are claims mimi siezi siezi sema ndakuja hapa niweze confirm ama ku deny because is a situy but the issue of you addressing adam moving from his place adam finding himself misplaced adam kutoka from his point of authority that is an issue that we are facing and i think it's very important that you came out because i don't think so many okay so many people wameshatokea okay, washaongea but pia mm-hmm. it needs a voice you understand it needs a loud voice that can say it for everyone to listen so me i can all i can say right now is a thank god that you came out and it's something that is a discussion that we'll always have we'll continue having until we find a solution asante bro mimi nimeopatia suggestion uh, mimi nimepigiwa na mapasta na mabishop na baadaye nime commission sana kila mahali akiniita wanaanza solution iko wapi nasema daddy owen awelewi nasema i don't understand so me me, me at least when when to say about panel live nilifurahi sana nilifurahi sana eh you know una una vile kila mtu ana respond bro eh Victor na Shafan na Shafan na Victor amefanya video nne akinitukana una get so so go to Adam who is soldier that's what he said jana we ni general we ni we ni chief we huyu mtu aruto anatonga aje mkubwa jeshi mkubwa jeshi anaitwa commander in chief ama we ni commander we ni commander in chief Yes. Hapo kwenye hizo video zako bro, ile hata hata hiyo saluti unakaa command, umevaka command. Yes. So yes. wewe wewe uko na uko na wisdom ya leader, uko na wisdom ya Adam. So Eric Mundi akikuja anasema, "Where is that Owen? Oh, these people are homosexuals, they are having sex with women three times a day." Nimejam. Kila mtu ame react. Kila mtu ame react kivyake. But all of them, most of them ame react negatively. <laughs> Willy Paul amekuja akasema Rikomondi eh, wewe peleka jokes zako huko zimeisha wewe hata you are not funny ameniandikia barua hapo akasema mimi hata siko gospel na Rington amefanya interview moja na video mbili kwa Instagram ziko sasa yake nitukana but wewe ukakuja ukaniambia bro can we have this conversation so that will yes. tell you a lot that will tell you a lot about your position una get hata mm-hmm. nani aliongea with a lot of wisdom much much video ya Jimmy Gate ya Jimmy ni no video very yes. mature very alafu ana accept wewe na Jimmy Gate mnasema mko na umesema unashindwa kusema I'm not here to to defend I'm not here to fight no uh, first of all yeah. first of all uh, the thing Eric is saying uh, I agree some of them are true but where is the solution Jimmy Gate anakuja anasema uh, I've had what I can say I've been away and I've been out of ministry and it is true I've not I've not the last time I I minister or sang a song was 2 years ago mm-hmm. but I will address you guys allow me to take time and think and I'll talk to you on Thursday mm-hmm. bro wewe ni mtu ako na spiritual maturity yes. so hiyo hiyo nataka kuambie hope kid jana mm-hmm. hope kid amenituka alikuja akasema nini uliona nia hope kid amejaona hapana hapana alinitukana huyu bibi ya bibi ya guardian mm-hmm. asha ni itabidi body esta musila amenitukana hapo kwa sababu kwa gadi na pia eh bro choma hapo gadi na ulichoma bro 
Abu bro, Abu bro. Apana Abu bro. Abu yenda ku rebuke publicly. Iyo na uli choma. Apo guardian bro. Uwezeba, uwezeba manaume ba. Eh bro, apo na uli choma bro. Guardian manze alikuwa ametindua ametulia alafu unakuja eh bro hapo. Iyo I'll rebuke you. Iyo nda ku rebuke publicly. That was wrong. Pole ni naomba msamaha. Hata DK nilimpigia. Yes. Nilitumia DK uh, voice note. Nilimtumia voice note. Eh uh, na hiyo voice note nikamwambia si yako ni ya wife. Na nika explain, mm-hmm. uh, nika explain hiyo kitu ile yake kitambo na yes. mimi nilikuwa nili, nili, nili nimejam na message yangu lazima ende true. So yes, yes, yes. Kwa, katika hiyo you know, asira sara. Asira ni sara. Mm-hmm. So mimi nikaenda nikachomea Guardian, nikachomea DK, you know get. You know get. Mm-hmm. Eh hata mm-hmm. nani alinikola like, akasema uh, ata lose my job. Rington ana ba bro mzee sawa ukisema na lala na madem watatu per day na hii sande nilikuwa naenda ku minister kwa church mzee so ndasimamaje mbele ya watu na niimbe na get mm-hmm. but but some things they have to be said for the yeah. conversation yeah yeah, yeah. we have the conversation because siwezi kudanganya because i know the gospel in this kuna vitu mob zinaendelea na siwezi kuja hapa kuanza kufunikia mtu ama kushuka kwa anything there are people who they, by the they have derailed kuna watu wametoka kwa ministry kuna watu wenye they 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 are overusing ama distorting the meaning of the word grace you understand know, yeah. yes committing and committing and committing more things over and over na ukiogopa the grace is sufficient so kuna hiyo watu wana wana wana, wana, wana misuse grace it i mean that now that it, kuna grace we go about misusing it so na get point yako so conversation must be had and we must have this conversation because even when christ came christ came and rebuked so many people he rebuked so many people kuna ile sana kitu alifanya i think kitu kitu nilifanya jana ni kuna time tumesema kuna time class alikuwa na alikuwa naenda kwa temple i think akiwa 12 yes Eh, na hata akiwa mkubwa alikuwa na alikuwa napelekana na fari, na mama farisi yes. na sadisi alikuwa na yeah. mimi nasema hivi nyinyi mnasemaje but yes. kuna time Christ alichukua whip yes. so 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 ali, kuna kuna time alikuwa anaongelesha watu alafu akamka akaenda kwa church bro akapata market so hiyo yes. ndio kitu linapenia yes so wina, ndipata watu wanauza kondoo na watu wanauza mkate ndani ya church hakuongea na mtu bro alichukua tu whip akaanza ku... so mimi nikiongea hiyo siku mimi nilikuwa na feel hivyo nilikuwa na feel uh, uh, the church of christ in kenya like, not even the church uh, church church is a totally different story but at ongeje your church that's a different ball game that's a different ball game altogether yeah talking about the gospel uh, industry the gospel ministry uh, stroke industry mm-hmm. and again mainly the gospel in ministry stroke industry imekuwa imekuwa gikomba yes 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 imekuwa gikomba yes there's so, no order so, no order. so nilikuja, nilichafua intentional nilichafua intentional ju ningekuja hapa niseme hai hakuna mtu angenisikia so nilia ku mention hiyo yes. homosexuality hiyo homosexuality mm-hmm. iko kwa bible ile ina kwa mention kwa bible kwa mimi ni mention yes yeah. yes yes hata pop juzi hata juzi pop amesema amechoma kidogo lakini alisema it is a sin so mimi nikasema kuna homosexuality sina shida na homosexuality pale in the world but niko na shida na homosexuality in the church in the form of gospel artist niko na shida na yeah. conmanship in the church in the form of gospel artist niko na shida yeah. na, na na money laundering wash wash in the church in the name of gospel artist yes okay. yes so nilia kuchoma bro Bro, thank you so much. I really appreciate. We've done one hour. Nashukuru sana manze and uh, I think I wanted just today to make everything clear for everyone to listen your point of view why you said what you said yesterday na pia ku address those issues. And it's a conversation that we will continue having na tutaendelea ku have all of us kama ni live nyingine bado tutafanya live nyingine kama ni vitu vingine bado tutafanya vitu vingine. I believe even for me but we address the same issue ya Eric Komoni vya Disema and the same issue that is happening in the gospel ministry right now stroke industry thank you everyone who participated today everyone who joined in we really appreciate your time 
we thank you for taking your time kukuja tu kusikiza hii story na tu imekuwa tu ni story ya kuchanga leo and then from moving forward to pay guidance and tunaenda kuwaship god niko hapa nimerudi full swing to take my position and i pray Amen. to god azidi kunipatia wisdom on how to do what i'm supposed to do before Amen. we go i want us to pray i want us to pray so that mm. everyone knows apa sikal thing mambo ya god see tunaing mchezo nayo let's pray mm. Lord Jesus we come before you to thank you and to honor you. We bless you for a good session that we had right now. Anyone who's watching my father, we know there are so many people who are going through different things in different situations right now. But I believe King of Glory you're going to release all that burden from them Lord God and you're going to protect them through the night. And as they wake up tomorrow morning King of Glory guide their day my father. Let them receive healing and let them receive mercy and grace my father. Let this video my father change their lives my father and let this be a beginning of a mission King of Glory that is going to save many souls we bless you even for your commanding we say lord god jehovah protect him and guide him make him come back to the kingdom my father and to work for the kingdom of jesus i pray for anyone who's watching at home we pray for their families we pray for their work we pray for their relatives we pray for anyone who is sick at the hospital and is watching today my father tonight we pray lord jehovah that they may receive healing we bless you and we honor you for in jesus name we pray and believe as we say amen amen Adam, may God bless you. Sasa ni kuita Adam, kwanza ni wewe Adam. Sawa bro, man, sawa bro. Sawa. Haya. Ah.